Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues, playing as Luchadores Libres. Last time, we had a good time filling up our focus tree, learning about Las Torres Mascaras, as well as we went to war with Gento Del Sol, which actually, at this time, actually might have been a big mistake for us. Regardless, I'll get into that in just a little bit, and we have the bizarre focus we're currently doing, but let us continue defending against the heathens, also known as, uh... Gento Del Sol. So, the reason I say that, uh, is I'll get to that actually once we're done, but first comments. I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go with our land doctrine, either with, uh, conventional warfare or asymmetric warfare. The overwhelming support, though, went to asymmetric warfare, probably wasteland tactics, um, just because that just makes the most sense. Someone did recommend I go mechanized warfare, so we get, like, luchadors on bikes, which would be, actually be pretty cool, but I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save mechanized warfare for when I play as the 80s someday, so with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and grab Melkor Echeverria. More daily army XP gain, and plus 15% to our land doctrine when it becomes, uh, very good for us. We got some clay working, very, very nice. I'm gonna immediately go ahead and start doing our land doctrine so we don't get left behind. Thank you very much. Uh, so, <clears throat> okay, so when I recorded the last video, I didn't realize that Las Tres Mascaras, Blue Demon, El Santo, and Mil Mascaras were actual real life, currently, in our timeline, alive. Well, maybe except for Blue Demon. Blue Demon Jr. is still alive. Uh, they're actually real people that the devs, like, took inspiration from, which is actually really, really cool. Uh, and in yesterday's video, uh, at the one of the comments linked a picture of the tag team fight in which uh, all three showed up, which was actually really, really cool. It's not in the greatest quality, but that doesn't matter. Uh, it, it's actually really, really cool. If you want to check it out, go to yesterday's video, and then just click on the link. It's actually really, really cool, which is actually really awesome that the devs took inspiration from, you know, Stuff from the 21st century and the 20th century, so really awesome. Uh, let's see, and so, as I was saying, I think it was a mistake going to war with Gente del Sol, because so far we're holding out pretty darn well. Uh, our divisions right now, they have chem companies, which is very good. They're only like 14 combat with, which is a big no-no. We're definitely going to buy more infantry equipment right now, so let's go and do that. We just got the bizarre done. Now, the reason I bring up why going to war with Gente del Sol now was a mistake because I didn't realize that we had the Sun Eater channels, which eventually we go down the left path. We have to be at peace, and then they can have an uprising of rebellion within Gento del Sol. I didn't realize that when I selected this. Uh, which means eventually we could probably just go down the, gen the Gentle Day. Even though this lowers their war stability, lowers their war support, we get actually. Uh, uh, Puerto Libertad gets arms workshop. Uh, Puerto Libertad. Uh, I don't think that's under us, is that? Yeah. Porto Libertad is probably over here. Yep, it is, so that they get a workshop and stuff. So, we'll probably choose this path. So, in the meantime, we get a bonus for Land Doctrine. Recovery rate actually wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Verde Cult. Let's go trade with the Rio to get more civilian factories. So, while our similar disposition to the Rio Grande Republic makes trade with them viable, our proximity to them makes it profitable. And because we went to war with these guys, we're all just going to stay here for a while until we can make more divisions. In which, then we can probably go to war with one of these cartels. Probably Cartel de Sinaloa. Just because we can. I think that'd be a good thing to do. In the meantime, uh, you guys probably should have enough divisions to hold here for a while. So, I mean, we already lost 111 versus 1,000. Still not enough, but cool. A song from the front. Luchador forces have fought heroically against our enemies. And one of our loot soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We could play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. More war support, which actually would be very nice. But political power... I want to get some more war support, because we're currently defending on core territory, which makes our defense even more powerful, which is a good thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw one of you guys right there as well. And they, we need to get anti-tank. You are level 6, my friend. Francisco. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn good. Uh, Enrique has no upgrades yet. That's fine. That's totally okay. Yeah, I used 6 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm. We need at least, like, 10 more divisions before we do anything else. Gun-wise, we're doing okay, but it's time to ruin our guns so we can get more of these guys. Not that, not militia, but this. And there you go. Nice. Now we've ruined the amount of guns we have. Which isn't good, but, you know, whatever. I'm here just to drain Gente del Sol's territory, drain their strength. I mean, if their, their manpower, the weaponry. Because we got enough political power for now. Or, I mean, manpower. But we need more equipment. Plant cultivation? Very good, very good, very good. I'm still unsure of which one we should do up here. I don't think we've become advanced ever, but I could be very, very wrong about that. I'm going to grab anti-tank rifles because they're motorized. Well, they have armor, and we can't really pierce it, which really sucks. Really, really sucks. Oh, we got some of this. Let's see. Uh, we could do that. Boulder Warchief, more entrenchment, and max and better defense. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab... This wouldn't be bad either. More War Sport would actually be pretty darn good. Trade with Rio. Hmm. Shade Bring. I like that a lot. Division Organization and Recovery Rate is pretty darn awesome. More Attack would be pretty good as well. I'm gonna probably go with Attack and Defense. I don't see anything else here that would really immediately benefit us too much. Maybe except here. Wall Painter. Scoundrel. Trade Laws. Eh, stuff so. 5% isn't very much. I'd prefer to get this one. Growth and Base. That just means we can produce more, which I think is a good, good, good thing. War of the Mask. Well, we don't have a big enough army to go down that way. Let's get, let's go with the smiths of Los Mochis. The metal workers of Los Mochis are known throughout Mexico as the best as the, at the craft. People are capable of forging machines or machetes that can cut through the jungle like butter on knives that can get a fish in seconds. Providing these skilled workers with actual workshops to hone their craft would be a boon to our military industry. We get a whole one military factory. How lovely. And CR and Banditos. That's okay, that's okay. We want plants, travel scout kits, crowd control gear. Uh, we are trying to make some spec ops divisions, but they're not that big. They're only 12 combat with, which is, eh, not great, but they are what, that, what they are. We'll get more XP as they continue to try to kill us over here, so it's fine. Alright, that's the case. There we go. And then, over here. Two. Cool. You guys line up. Let time go on. We'll try to get these guys to attack us a little bit more often. That'd be fine. Uh, make sure you do that. People are killing each other. Train this. Don't train the first army group. That would not be very good. Dinamite. I love dinamite. Dogs. Let's get some dogs. I love dogs. Well, I like dogs. I don't have any dogs, which is okay. Uh, would you like to attack me some more? No. Okay. Well, whatever. I will pull you out, and then I'll put you right there. Oopsie. We want to make it appetizing for the enemy to try to strike us. And we still get so much uh, naval XP so far. Huh, that's beautiful. Can't buy any more guns, which really sucks, but whatever. You still don't want to kill me more? This is probably a bad idea to do this. But, hey, there you go. Asymmetric warfare, great! Let's get some foraging, which gives us more, less out of supply, and supply grace. Not bad. Yeah, let them uh, injure themselves on our line. Ah, uh, they're decay. What do you have for us? You're level 4 now. Uh, I'd love to do Fortunate Leader, but right now, since you're kind of doing what you're doing, Recovery Rate would actually probably be really good. We could get more defense. Let's get Light Touch, since we're mostly going to be probably using Infantry in this campaign anyways. Uh, you're the weakest ones. I'll let you go first. It doesn't really matter which way we go. We can do that as well. That's fine. The Smiths. And then awaken foundries. For far too long have the foundries of the Old World laid dormant, used for nothing more than a hideout for squatters and chem pushers, with refurbishment and refitting. Once more, we can, can these great steelworks put arms in the hands of our people. Oh, good. And if we need to move this one division, we can move it over. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I just really want to drain Gentle Del Sol of their strength. They've already lost 2,000, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. We could do that. You know what? We're going to grab this ahead of time just because we could use it. Like, I don't want to lose that much manpower. We have a good amount, but manpower is precious. It's always very, very precious. Looking okay. Riders are not too bad. Uh, we, have, we have no occupied territories. Lustrous Mosqueras. I love it. Now, that's probably that national spirit is probably going to change when we eventually have to choose someone to lead our country, so... We'll have to, have to wait and see what happens. Still looking good, level 6. Love it, and we're about to get paid great. Hey, we can build more stuff. Good. More civilian factories, then. Let's see, 40%. Good. 30%. Not bad. And then do it right there, and then right there. Nice. Come over there. And, followers of the Apocalypse... Let them come, that's fine, I don't really care. They'll lower our war support for now, but whatever. Hey, yeah, keep attacking, keep attacking. I wonder how much more manpower they actually have. Let's double check. Militia command. Ah, oh, they're out of manpower, good! Now, I really doubt that I could push this way. I really doubt it. Because our guys actually don't have enough strength anyways right now. So, let's not try that. Instead, we'll just fight Wargles times. Peaceful Origins. Just fight Wargles times on us is kind of a waste. We can't do Beloved Doctor because we did not choose him. Uh, we're not elites, at least for now, so probably Shaman's the best way to go, so we can get some more research speed for now. Unless we really want to raise our conscription level to 450. That costs 450, that's quite a bit. Over here, Shadebringer, great. Awakened Fortress. Ooh, dogs! More attack, 20% more attack is nothing to scoff at. We probably will do that one. Oh, there's so much good stuff here. I don't even know what to choose, man. We only have two slots, so I hate that. I wish we could get rid of this spider one, or this, uh, airplane one. Airplane... Air Force. Words. Difficult. Yes, they are. Hello. Uh, let's see. Oh, grab more defense. That'd be great. And we shall do... Off-world... Oh, oh, we can produce more infantry 
equipment. Most wars within the Federation make use of weapons that are hereditary, handed down from family to family and repaired when necessary for open battle. Make more guns more quickly because that's actually really good, because after that we get generational war bands, we get more soft attack, hard attack, and less production cost for infantry equipment as well. So we hit even harder. And I love it. Yeah, you keep doing that. You keep doing that over there. Crusher. Minus 10% defense. I don't like that. But 20% more attack. Jesus, that's really good. Especially for infantry, where you could really use that. Mm. If I do that, we'll probably end up going Crusher. So we only have and great for Dos Arellano. Just because you get only a total of minus 5% defense, which isn't that bad. We could get Recon, but... We're kind of going to wait first. Anything over here? Yeah. Research speed. So, play get the followers. We don't need to do that. Good. Keep attacking me. Keep getting more, more of that army XP. Buy some more guns because we have eight caps left and we need it. Demo equipment's coming along. Nice. We're going to throw some demo equipment on our soldiers. Eventually. Eventually. And I will want to go to war with these guys. Uh, let's see. You know what? For now, let's just do great and we'll lower our defense in a little bit. So we get even more defense now. And slightly more attack. So basically... We get minus 5% defense for plus 25% attack. That is... That is not bad, man. That is not bad. You guys are still training? Well, it's fine. Just keep training. Give us more army XP. That's always nice. Spec Ops. We're not going to get these done since we can't make any Spec Ops forces yet. But that's okay. Um, cams. Throw on the anti-tank, which we'll get to eventually. Demos. That'd be fine. We can't even really use them yet, so it doesn't really matter. Familial weaponry. Generational Warbands. I want to do that one, but I want to come over here to War of the Mask first. The Free Fighters owe their existence to the cartels. It is their evil ways that brought us together to fight back. And this way we can go freedom for Sinaloa, eventually. The Great Cartel. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens, because I don't know what's going to happen. Like I said, I might have said this earlier. I probably did. Uh, I'll try to play this off-screen. Actually, I didn't play off-screen. I actually recorded a totally different video for, for this campaign, for this specific episode. And it didn't go so well, I'll just put it like that. So I kind of know that you shouldn't let Gentadel soul over the river here, because they find ways to get more uh, manpower, we'll say. What's their stockpile like? Uh, not very good. Not very good. Hmm. I want to attack just to see what would happen. But I know it'd be failure if I did, so... Yeah, us attacking, not a good idea. So we're just kind of stuck here, which really sucks. But it is what it is. In the meantime, we can make our army bigger, more powerful, greater, and take out a cartel. And provides obstructions for even more max entrenchment and soft attack. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. So we're going to need one, two there. We need how many more divisions? One, two, three, four. We need one division here. One, one, one. And then we can go to war. That'd be great. That'd be really great. And let's hurt our defense. Minus 5%, but even more attack. And this might entice the enemy to attack us actually a little bit more, which is... In my mind, a little okay with me. Look at all that XP. Jesus, that is so good. You know what? I'm going to risk it. That's probably a really bad idea for me to do right there, but that's okay. Hey, they started attacking us against more. Just in case, help out. We've lost 200 guys. Almost 200 guys. They've lost 3,000. 3,600, to be more exact. Very good. So, the true demon bypass. Okay. Oh, okay, a lot of these have already completed. War of the Mask. The Free Fighters owe their existence to the cartels, and it, as it is their evil ways that brought us together to fight back. Our destinies, even then, are intertwined, and this is the final match of fate. We shall prevail. I love political power. Wow. Gain Anarchist War Goal, a new demon. Oh. Freedom for Sinaloa. Taking in refugees. The Great Cartel. Freedom for Sinaloa. The Sinaloa Cartel is a blighted reminder of the sins of the old world. Rather than being snuffed out like the rest of the nation, like a roach, they survived, feeding off of the carcasses and misfortune of other survivors. They cannot continue. Freedom will come to Sinaloa. Hopefully we can integrate them. I think I saw that before. And this is why I went for anti-tank, because you never know if Tlaloc's sons will eventually attack you. I have no idea when that's going to happen. They will do that eventually, but... Mm. Oh, see? Oh. oh, they're actually already at war with them. Which means, if I take them out, then these guys might go to war with us. Which wouldn't be very good. And I'm honestly a little uh, uh, apprehensive of these guys. But if they only have up to 20 divisions, that's not bad. But we're going to need some serious, serious anti-tank. So, you know, manual prospectors, you might as well go ahead. That is fine. Uh, do we have any anti-tank? I need more military effects. I need a lot more of everything, man. Dogs. Uh, grab the anti-tank. Good. A vacuum tubes. we got plenty of guns now. That's nice. 
If that's the case for guns, I don't want to hurt this too badly, but let's start making some anti-tank. That'll help us defeat these guys' enemies' tiny bit of armor on their wheels, which is good. <clears throat> mm, let's see. Could get more caps, but that's okay. I am ready to go to war with Sinaloa. The last rumble. Annex war goal. Avenge the saint. Oh, just establish themselves. I don't really care. Just stop lowering my war support. Avenging the saint. Getting the gang back together. Oh, we can core it. Yeah, there it is. We can core that area up. New mask. Same bandit. Bandit. Bandito. Uh, Battle of Maza Mazatlan. We need to do that eventually. So the Great Cartel. The Sinaloa Cartel is the strongest of its kind. Owning a vast swath of territory from which it terrorizes northern Mexico and the southern states. Indeed, it was the founders of this organization that slew Mati El Santo over a hundred years ago and inadvertently funded the Lucha tribe in their viciousness. Now the time for justice has come to do. For the Federation is strongly strong enough to destroy the greatest foe. Oh, we actually get a bonus asymmetrical warfare, which is great. The last rumble. In the right corner, the 200 uncontested champions of misery, the opioid overloads themselves, the Sinaloa Cartel. And in the left corner, weighing in, weighing in a people filled with the power of righteousness and freedom, armed to the teeth and ready to kick some crusty ghoul cool off, the Free Fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, ghouls and old rubble brains, let's get ready to rumble. Oh man. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. That really does sound like a ton of fun. I'm gonna actually get a new general now. Jose Manuel Canalizo. Can Canalizo. Ah, I can't speak Spanish, man. Uh, I took German in high school. Cool. Actually, we got quite a few things we can do here, but not really. Oh, help settlements. Yes, please. Uh, I think we need support equipment. Yes. So this is why I love having... Actually, I don't mind the followers of the Apocalypse. I've only kicked them out of my nation once. And I can't remember for what for, but I kicked them out once. I can say that. Demo equipment will be very important. Infantry equipment is looking nice. Cool. Uh, are these guys actually ready to kill us? How oh, they have quite a few divisions, actually. The Iron Grip. <clears throat> Even if we can go to war, I might still not go to war with them. Just because I don't want to fight uh, Santa Ana. Not Santa Ana. Well, I don't want to fight Santa Ana, but Zapata. Because he, he probably will go to war with us eventually. Uh, Army XP gain, let's justify World Goal Science. That's honestly better, but for now, I'm actually going to grab Juan Bautista Reyes, Boulder Warship, because I almost never choose them. But I need more entrenchment and defense on, defense on core territory, because when we go to war with Zapata, and he pushes us back, I'm going to need every single piece of defense that we need. And this will just help out here, too. So, uh, 4,000, not bad. 5,000, we can core this area, which will be nice. Actually, that's not bad. Actually, if we can core this area fast enough, that would be really great. So that means even if we lose Lost Mokus and we can like hide behind the river here, that would be pretty good for us. But we'd probably take out... Oh, we are still at war with uh, Gente del Sol. Yeah. Because they have a waterway up there, which actually might prove to be beneficial for us, which means they would divert their soldiers away a little bit better, more effectively for us. So, hmm, this is give and take, you know. We're going to try and go right ahead. We got a little bit of time for it. That's fine. Over here, we're looking pretty good. Honestly, we're just going to be on defense a whole lot, probably. So, scavengers found something. Oh, Poseidon Energy Schematics. Nice. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and throw you over here. So, now we have two here. So, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Over here, not feeling too bad, but not too great over here either. And over here, not feeling great either. So, we're really... Well, we're really cut down for now. Cool. We're going to leave that alone for now. Let's do the Battle of Mazatlan. So the Shadow Walkers proved their worth alongside the Blue Demon against the Cartels before, facing the Bloody Band himself down in a raid on his lair. While the losses were severe, the secrets they stole and the knowledge of the Cartel forces proved invaluable to us upon their acceptance into the Federation. I said, I read that very, 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 very quickly. Quickly, yes. Words are hard when you speak very quickly. Sometimes. Beautiful. Uh, let's see, we can wait. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. It's so, so ahead of time. But the reason I'm doing that is because there's a focus. So we, we do that, we can get pow powered fists, I think. Let's go and grab away some tactics. This was this will definitely help our recovery rate as well. I love that. Yeah, you guys are looking extremely weak over here. Um, and also I want more dynamite on our guys too. Really want to get more dynamite because if I try to throw them on now, uh, we'd be in quite the deficit. Yeah, it'd be minus 273, which is not ideal. I'd rather have more divisions out right now than later. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. Prospectors, sure. Actually, do we still have how many guns we got? Oh, we got plenty. We're good. On knives. I'm not using guns, ballistics. Ugh. It's for heretical people. Wait. I'm not playing as a religious. No, well, not too much of a religious nation right now. Maybe I am. Hmm. Troll War and Bone Dancers. I don't want to trade away for anything, but I need that scrap right for now. Do I really need it though? Maybe I don't really need it then. If it's just for convoys, screw it then. Screw it then. 
Yeah, I don't really need it, just for convoys. Cool. Uh, so two here, two there, that's good enough. Uh, let's come back over here. I want at least eight over here. So two, 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 two. Should be good enough. Man, we've taken a real beating. 200 guys though, versus 5,000. 6,000? Okay. Are they raising their conscription level? Yes? No? We have maybe the same amount of factories. They probably actually have more than us. Cool. Battle of Mazatlan. Cool. And then the Shadow Brothers. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. It is time for us to ease the Shadow Walkers into our Federation. This will... To do this requires a match between one of our leaders and theirs. This match will not be unlike others in the Federation. With a mix of underhanded tactics and hidden weapons, anyone can come out on top. Not your normal wrestling match, my friends. No, no, no. Currently still get plenty of population. Oh, we have a little, just a little under 200,000 people in our country. That's awesome. Anti-tank is looking great. Demo equipment is looking great. I mean, it does help if we have a lot being produced here, so. Keep it on three, then. I don't want. I still want planes. Trouble scout kits will be good. Ay, ay, ay. What do we do here? Not Poseidon? What does that do? Electronics technology research and more power station construction speed, which wouldn't be bad eventually, but I don't think we need that right now. Just by Robo's time, Shaman. Um, I guess we can do more war support for now. And get some more research speed. That's, that, that helps, you know. Alright, so now you are good. And you have eight. Oh, now they have four. That kind of sucks. Um, I recommend you probably just move there. Oh, hold on. There you go. Well, oh, what the heck? I recommend you come here. You two come over here too. Hey, what the heck? Um. There you go. Let's make it more even. And we'll do wasteland invitation. So more leg infantry recovery rate and more recon and re reinforcement, which is a great thing. You guys looking great? You guys looking? Well, you guys are looking. And we can go to do we have an end date of this? No, we do not, which is good. And they keep attacking us. I love it. If I could defeat Genta del Sol more, like, first, I probably would. Ooh, they found something. Old World Tactics, more attack and defense. The Demon and the Nightmare, they're in the final traditional act to bond the Shadow Walkers into the Federation. A public com combat must be held between the leaders of the tribe and, and another. In honor time, tr in time honor tradition, the Blue Demon men have stepped forward to challenge the Black Shadow, intent on defeating him in a swift and decisive way. Their brawl is unlike most in the Federation, as it makes use of extensive outside equipment and interference, even as both parties wear armor and hit bring hidden weapons into the fray. When the dust finally settles, the Blue Demon stands trumpet over his foe, and the Black Shadow formally joins the Federation. Of course, once he recovers from his broken arm. We get anti- Oh, we all- we get anti-tank already, and reconnaissance. Oh! Okay, so that's gonna be a waste of time. Doing that. Okay. Mm, just in case, come over here just because they have stacked up more. One guy here probably isn't honestly enough, but. Uh, recovery rate. Let's get the generational warbands. And while many new weapons are produced for the free fighters, those that are are often made to mirror those that came before them, which is awesome! Really making us a very strong infantry nation. Very good. Soft attack. I love it. Hit them even harder. Oh, we don't even have this anti-tank on here. At this point, I think it's okay to throw on some anti-tank. Do we have enough for everyone? We don't, but we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty darn close. I would love to attack them right now. I really doubt we could win. 27. Yeah, don't even try. There you go. Baited them to attacking us. Haha. -ha. Barely lost anybody. They lost 6.9 thousand. Nice. Yeah. Two, one, yeah, one is not going to be enough for this. We need more divisions over here. Over here, ah, We're really spread out. I don't like being spread out like this. Get some more support equipment. I'm so glad we can buy some more. We don't really need it right now, but... In time, we're really going to need it. You know, for now, let's, let's go this way. I don't know if we can actually become civilized, so... In time, maybe we'll switch it around. But by that time we can, it'll be like game, so... Hmm, I could probably actually pull off another division around here, too. If really, really pressed, we probably could. Pull another division up there, pull another division down there. Nice. Seraph Lords, the clear one, come on station, nice. And now we probably gotta wait for this stuff to get done. So we get Shadow Warriors. Um, they got Recon, which is kind of okay. Yeah, I'd say that's just okay. Go and become Guardia. That's okay. We don't really need those. I mean, recon. I mean, we're getting recon on our infantry anyways, so 
We probably really won't need extra recon, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see anything else here. Generational warbands makes us even stronger. Dubious shipments. Arms workshops. Oh, there it is. Powered melee weaponry. That's what we want to do. Dubious shipments. It has recently become the case that our stated mission of destroying the cartels has caused shipments of arms to be delivered at our shores. The weapons inside are of quality comparable to our own and even similar design. Whether or not this is an attempt from the south to help foil a competitor or a gift from the dying god in the east. Nobody's really sure. And that's okay with us. Wow, I just realized we have 15% stability. That is not ideal. That is very much not ideal. You guys, two, two, two. You might be, you, this this area is gonna get hit pretty pretty flipping hard. Is there any way we can make our defense any stronger? Experience soldiers losses actually is probably the best one here. Yeah, it's only ten percent. Let's see, is there anything else? Energy of weapons, infrastructure. Really not anything here that I really care about too much. You might be actually be able to hold out here if anything defense. I mean, we're probably pretty strong in defense at this point now. Especially on core territory. Hmm. So we'll, we'll risk it very soon. We'll go to war very, 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 very soon, hopefully. Uh, we'll probably actually go with outsider battalions just because this is all of Mexico and we welcome all of Mexico into our lands who wants to become us. So we just got more recon. So now we have the gang. And more combat width. So we gotta save up a little bit more infantry equipment for now. Anti tank isn't looking so hot, and that's okay. Spec Ops hasn't ever looked that hot, so it is what it is. All right, let's go and stop doing that. And prepare for some unholy war. If that's the case, you guys come right there. That'd be good. What do I do with my political power? I will do, I can buy more stuff. Actually, that might be worth it. Agricultural experts, what are we missing besides scrap? Anything? Nope. They keep attacking me, man. I love it. Let's do this just because, hey, this scavenger's found something nice, better in our hands than enemies. Rocco Industries. Why do I always find that? When I'm not like not using robots, I don't understand. But I'm gonna go with this just so we get just two percent more organization. It's not much at all, but you know I'd rather have it. Fishing harbors, that's okay. Naval base is okay. Let's do the Sun Eater. No, let's do Legacy of the Mart for more recovery rate. It is not enough to remember the young your people's heroes. You must catalog their great feats in every way you can. Tell their stories and teach their morals to your to your young, and make sure that your men fight with the spirit of these titans. Happy 2278, though. I just realized it was this year. Uh, they're still fighting us over there. Are we really this ready to go attack or defend? I just don't think on this side, man. Over here, it's looking pretty thin, not gonna lie. We might be able to hold out if we we're smart about it, but over here, come down here. Four there, three there, four. Ah, we've got heavy melee weaponry, which is nice. Grab some of that too. Now we can do that next focus for powered melee weaponry, which is nice. Twice in two lifetimes, good for you. Scavenge tools, good. Doggos, by tracking dogs, good. Helping out with that, even look at that, it's getting higher, it's good. Demo equipment's coming along as well. Nice. Yeah, I just want at least one more division. Four is just a bit too much for me. Escape slaves from Edge of Um, Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a little bit too important. Yeah, I'm gonna say that, that's fine. I usually say the other one, but I really don't want a, a war with them right now. I could probably do okay against them since we do have some anti-tank, but... I don't know, man. Imperial Mexicano's getting real thick. They're going to be a menace that we're going to deal with eventually. Ooh, this does extend my border with them just a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, just come on out. You're taking too... You're literally taking too long for, for, for me, so... Having an extra division on each one of these styles will actually be better. For now, put you on low. Because I want everyone to get enough reinforcements. And we'll go to war in three... Two. I'm tired of waiting. Let's go. We don't have any allies. Alright, they are not attacking me. Well, sucks. That sucks. I was kind of hoping they would, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see, if I can move up this direction, and then this direction, and then that direction. I could use you guys to help support the attack, right? Legacy of the Saints, or the Martyr. Very good, very good. Superior Slammers. Oh, let's do Avenging the Saint. Let's do that one so then we can do getting the gang back together to get core, so that'll be good. Perhaps when the Sinaloa Cartel killed El Santo, they thought he had rid uh, the Free Fighters of the greatest hero. In reality, they only made a resolve even stronger. Now that the Saint is back, it's time for some divine retribution. Good. We're doing pretty well against them, it looks like. Nice. Troll Warren looking pretty nice. Dealing with chems, that's not good. Now you attack us, and I knew they would get attacked in the bottom there. 
Uh, I don't know, observations from a breakthrough. Yeah, I knew they'd get attacked. I knew I, I made that one weaker. Kind of on purpose, sort of. So. And do we get resistance? We don't. Good. Additional plating, good. Get some more breakthrough. We're going to need as much breakthrough as humanly possible. And I'm looking at our manpower, so I'm thinking I might save up manpower just so that we can go to Frontier Militias. We lose resource efficiency gain, but we lose infrastructure, construction speed, and some 10% stability. Get 1% worth support, but double the amount of recruitable population we can currently have, so. I think that's a pretty good thing. Four divisions here. Can we beat them up? Well, I guess time will tell. So we got two divisions attacking. Make that four against four. But we got some support attack as well. They're ghouls. They do have machine guns and uh, demo teams, so that's good to keep in mind. They are slowly winning. They are now attacking us. I'm actually going to tell all of you guys to hold first. Hold. Hold, 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 because this is not doing well over here. I'm going to actually send you this way as well, right there. Y'all best be moving. They're not attacking down there. That's fine. And I've started quite a few wars in this campaign already. Oh, do you have an upgrade? Uh, we're doing infantry stuff, so go and hold as best you can for now. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to do that, which is going to hurt your strength, but whatever. Uh, they really want to attack us, which is fine with me. I, I mean, that's totally cool with me. Help them out if you can, because they're going to need that strength. Down here, they're doing okay. Uh, MDK, anything else? No other upgrade? That's fine. Losses, 300. Zero, wow. Uh, 700 over there. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. You guys held up very nicely. Still zero. We're doing very... Too well over here, it seems like. If that's the case, and they don't want to move up from here, I'm going to take half. About half, I mean one. Come over here. That would be great. Defend our area a little bit better. Four divisions. One, two, three, four. We can do four here and attack there. That probably would be best. Can we afford it? Probably, actually. Uh, we no longer have a deficit. Deficit? Deficit? Decifit of guns or anti tank, but avenging the saint. The saint is avenged on the eve of the defeat of the Sinaloa Cartel, where the majority of their leadership are caught attempting to flee north with their decades of ill gotten spoils. Surrounded by wars of the Federation, it is El Santo who makes the choices to return to turn the cartel over to the people of longing tormented Sinaloa, allowing them to dis dispense due justice to their antagonizers. The wealth of the cartel is returned to the people, but much of it is still donated to the Federation in things. Stability, army workshop, and a civilian workshop. How good eight. So we can't do that yet. So. We're gonna get superior slammers. To a luchador, a brain wrestler. A rocket sludge may at first appear to be the peak of human weaponry, but recent discoveries in the field of powered superfists that can punch through a skull have shaken the scientific community to its core. And then we can grab another research slot. Good stuff, my friends. Good stuff. Uh, you must also send us some manual prospectors, help some settlements out. Do we need support companies? Not right now. Maybe, maybe later, but not right now. All right, let's try it again, my friends. Our position has been reinforced, and we shall see what we can do. We're somewhat in the same boat as last time, but we actually have more support now. Actually, both of you should go there. 64, 65, 68. Nice, nice. Oh, we're gonna hurt. My, we're gonna hurt our infantry equipment so badly right now because now we're 18 combat with. Nice. And uh, I should probably buy more guns then. Or infantry equipment. Period. Demilitarization. You are out of your mind, guys. You are way out of your mind. Uh, I'm glad I bought some stuff because we are completely out, which is not good, but that's okay. It just makes us stronger. Nice. Tracking dogs? I think so. And then quadrant searching. Good. Actually, don't leave. Have you guys come here too and do that? We can maybe encircle someone. Huh? Yes? Yes? The only three divisions versus our five? I'm liking these odds right now, even though we have to keep a really good keen eye on manpower. It's not looking too good right now. They're not attacking down here, which I'm a little surprised, but that's okay. I guess you're doing a great job if you just. Just push a little harder. Just a little bit more reinforcement, we'll say. They can do probably pretty darn well. Ah, good, good. Grab your territory was annexed. Good, good, good. Hey, look at that. They're getting attacked, which is fine. Um, I'm going to recommend... Uh, yeah, one of you is there. That's good. Uh, so help out. And then you actually help out as well. Good, good, good. Come on, freaking out. Freaking out. Come on, attack. Get over there. Move before they can get in there. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Oh, we did it, my friends. Oh, oh but they have a... Uh, they actually have a board. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, that's a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, they popped out another division here, huh? Not today. Are they attacking me anywhere else? No? I've lost... How am I... Oh, no, it's, that, that's Zapata. I've lost... 
145. Okay, that makes more, so much more sense. Hey, we killed him off. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Three more divisions. I'm going to actually put them under this person here, just because, well, we could really use all the support here, because we're moving this way, but we got to keep an eye not to get over here, which would be a very bad thing, because, well, we can't go to war yet, or really have that type of war on that front with these guys, but I think we've done pretty darn well in this episode, but I do want to know your opinion. We have an intelligence agency. What should we call this intelligence agency that we are the Free Fighters, my friends? Let me know. What, is, what the, should the name be? But regardless... I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we will beat up and defeat the Sinaloa Cartel and hopefully Junta del Sol. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day!